Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Good morning. I am about to turn the air compressor on in my husband's shop because I got a lot of work to do today and I want to use my new nailer. Ugh, I know there's a spider back there. I got it. Let's see how the spindles I painted yesterday are doing. Yeah. Those are ready to be distressed. Oh, there's a razor blade on it. Oh, I painted them in the Rust-Oleum matte white. Now I'm gonna distress them where the wax was that should come off easily. So cool, these are done. I'm gonna build some pieces and I'm probably gonna be in here again, but let's shut the light off until then. There's enough going on without the lights being on. I'm going to build some planter boxes and actually it's more like a table runner. So remember these that I picked up just at the, went out with my sister. This is a narrow one. So they got four different sizes. I'm gonna take these apart and I'm gonna make like a runner for the middle of a table, a box. It's just a fancy box. Um, I actually did wash it. Probably gonna have to hit it with a little more white but I've got wood left over from where they tore apart my deck and they were gonna throw it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna make boxes out of it. So I gotta cut some pieces for that. It's gonna be gorgeous. So excited. Of course, the first thing I wanna do is try out my new air gun. So I made riser feet and I'm gonna make this short and simple. I'm not gonna glue it because I didn't bring my glue out. Uh, should I glue it? Yeah, I probably should glue it. But then I'm gonna go back in and disturb the dog. I wanna try it on anyway. Okay, I've loaded two inch nails. Nice. Nice. Super excited about this finally investing in myself and getting this stuff that I need. If I do two nails, it should be fine. Not like it's a high impact thing. So there's a riser. One riser down. I'm gonna cut those boards for my planter box, but I gotta get it apart first. Okay, I've removed the hardware the hinges. I'm going to leave these on for character. And these are going to end up being my sides. So one on each side. And that's going to be the length of our planter box. So I need to get an end on each side. I got to measure this up and then get a bottom in it and we'll be all good to go for putting it all together. And then of course, everything is going to get a nice coat of white paint because I am repurposing the wood from my deck. So it is not pretty. So we're gonna repurpose as much wood as we can from that deck. Okay, this end is rotted here, so I'm gonna cut this, but then we're gonna use the rest of this. I mean, the builder's like, <laughs> you can't do anything with this wood, and here's me, free wood! Yay, I know exactly what I'm gonna do with it. So we're gonna cut that off. I'm just gonna take a nice big chunk off the end. I was gonna try and pull those nails, but there's no point. I got the nails out of here and the end, and then this will just get sanded, sealed, painted. It'll be great. So there we have a nice clean end and you can see it's not rotted all the way through. It's fine. I don't know why they think they gotta throw everything away, but um, this will be the base and the sides, the short sides. So I'm gonna cut the short sides first and then see if I need to grab another piece for the base. Okay, we're gonna perform a little magic trick here. Instead of using, oh, I don't know what that's called on. Instead of using a ruler and measuring it, this is how I'm going to do it. Because what I want is for this board to fit inside the confines of my shutter. So to do that, let's see, we're going to do this. This will hang over the edge. 
exactly the amount that I need to cut off. So we are gonna put that like that. And then you know your measurements are accurate. I'm gonna wedge a pencil up underneath here. If you can, let's hang this off the edge here. We're gonna have a perfect cut. Start putting this thing together when we're done here. So that's exactly the amount that I need to come off the edge. Boom, should be perfect now. This needs to go this way. These need to go this way. And this can be on the edge. And look at that, she's perfect. Fits perfect. So let's get this all nailed together. We'll go from there. We have ourselves a shutter planner box. Needs to get some paint, otherwise she's done. Sanding and painting, that'll come next. All right, let me show you. A repurposed shutter and deck <laughs> planter box. And I'm going to fill it with some blue jars or regular jars, put some flowers in it and stage it for the booth. But otherwise, I'm gonna hit it with some paint, you know, obviously clean up the edges here, but I just wanted to show you guys this cute little planter box. So I'm going to make one more out of the shutters that I got, and then I'm going to use the other ones as background material to hang things on the wall, but I figured it was time we built something on this channel. <laughs> Believe it or not, I grew up in the wood shop with my dad, so I love doing stuff like this, and I'm so glad I got my nail gun because I'm going to do more projects like this. I think I'm going to build a table. Uh, probably any second. <laughs> I have all the pieces and parts out there ready to go, so I'm ready to build a table. But this for sure is one of those things that you can sell all day long is planner boxes. And if you're repurposing pieces and making it super cute, I'll figure out that. I might hang something off the knob. That's cute. You can put it on a table, you could put it outside. There's just a ton of things that you can do with that piece. And it's super simple to build, but I cannot believe my builder was gonna throw away all that wood. It's like, uh, no. <laughs> There's nothing you could do with that. Yeah, get creative, dummy. I'm not gonna build a freaking deck from it, but there are pieces and parts. He's like, it's rotted. I'm like, not all of it. I mean, on that board, just the end was rotted. And the piece that I just cut off, that's not even rotted. So just the one end had started to rot. And this one's fine. And my husband said, you don't want to use green treat. I'm fine using green treat because it's going to get sealed and painted and it's not going to be a problem. And it's going to be great. People are going to love that. That's a really great planter box, right? I saw those shutters and I was like background and stuff. And then these were narrow and I went, it'd be cute little planters. So it's time to make some planters. I might make one more and then I might hit a table. I might, I might do a table. I got the legs. I got the wood. I had, you know, when they took the fascia board off the, the front of the steps, I was like, oh, those are perfect tabletop. And they look like barn wood. You know, it's all cedar. This was not cedar. These were the risers. So they were not cedar, but the... The fascia board and the one buys were all cedar. And I'm like, we're not wasting cedar. It's just some gorgeous wood, you know, and I made those riser legs out of the cedar one by, and it's like, these were the end cuts for the new deck. And I'm going, why, why would we throw that away? So he is just kind of young. He is young. He's not a junker and a repurposer. So to him, this was all garbage. Do you want to put it in your burn pile? No. No, I want to find a purpose for it. I mean, it's good wood and wood's expensive right now. And some trees died for that deck. So we're going to use it. 
<laughs> We're going to keep it alive. Build another box. Just a box. Because people like boxes. So I'm going to cut this one. I think, I don't know. I don't even know how long it is. I'm kind of eyeballing it. See, my board is too long for my table saw. So now I'm going to flip the board and cut the other side. as you can see I've moved to the she shop so now I'm inside the house I have a bunch of sanding I wanted to use my mouse on I should have just taken it outside and be messy out there but anyway I also got some of these I'm gonna use this feed on risers so I'm gonna get these cleaned up and uh, figure out how I'm gonna attach them I'll figure it out not sure what I'm going to do there, but they'll be cool feet. Let me just glue them. These risers aren't going to be like heavy use items. So, and there's my, my tufting project I got to get back to. But I need to do the woodworking and stuff while my husband's away because we can't work together in the same shop. <laughs> so since he's gone to tomorrow, I'm going to be working on these projects so that I can be out in his shop. See, she didn't cut my hair short enough, y'all. Mm. Anyway, let's get to work. I'm back in my husband's shop now because if his spray booth is available, I'm going to use it. But uh, I got a lot done. <laughs> I got some pieces primed. I'm going to spray some pieces out here. And I brought another, I brought this little thrift flip out here. So I'm going to get that sanded and primed out here as well. Because it's got like a stencil on it that's raised. I'm going to take the belt sander to it. Like, get that raised lettering out there. I think I'm done out here for the day. So I'm going in. Uh, it's almost dinner time. Oh, all I've been doing is working all day. Just work, 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 work. But it was fun. It was fun work. I did some pieces in black that I've been working on over here. Then I had to spray those outside because I was spraying white inside and I didn't want to get them mixed up, but, or not mixed up, but overspray. You know what I mean? Let's see if they're dry. I'll leave them out here to dry. We're looking all right, though. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.